Virgos. Wow. That was interesting in a row. Hi, right, Virgo. Let's see what's going on with you and your love story here. You got the strength card here. So I feel like you're really feeling confident now in yourself. You're ready to go. We're going to see where this confidence is going to come from here. Strength card. Hmm. What's going on with this? Nine of Pentacles reversed. Seven of Wands upright. I think that, you know, you have to remember... Uh, I, I know you don't want to be alone, but I, you know, I, and I think that you're ready. You're ready to go all in in a situation, and you're ready to put everything in. We just got to find out what this is about here, because I almost feel like maybe you're not seeing this from the other side. Yep, <laughs> I knew it. I, d I just feel like you're dealing with somebody who's really closed up, and you're like, I'm ready to fucking go, and I'm not feeling. And it's almost like taking away from actually your beauty and your energy. What's up with that beauty part? Yeah, complicated. I don't know. If you're too worried about your beauty right now and all that stuff, stop focusing on that. You're getting your own inner conflict about that. I don't think that you need to keep trying to prove yourself to somebody. Like if somebody's not warming up to you, like it's just that. But I think that you're kind of beating yourself up about your attraction, your beauty, or focused on that shit way too much. Why are they closed off? Three pentacles reversed? I don't know. I mean, they honestly don't really see things working or they don't see things trying to be created in the same way. So I think that you need to maybe drop this. Yeah, temperance reverse. It's just not going to work out. It's not naturally in the flow in the flow state. Where do you need to put your energy towards right now? Uh, Nine of Wands reverse. Yeah, you need to pull the reins back. Like the, even the universe came back again. It was like, you're trying to go. And I think that you need to have the strength to get through something that you know is not going to work. And somebody that doesn't want to create things with you. And get over the weird thing where you maybe you're too focused on your beauty. Yeah, that's the weight to drop is maybe maybe they're not attracted because it's like you're trying to be too attracted. Yeah, King of Cups. Like, I, I think that's where you're trying to aim with your beauty is to find your emotional peace through how well you show yourself off. But I don't think that's going to work. You got a King of Pentacles here. You got a King of Swords here. You got a Ten of Cups, though, and you got that Justice card. I feel like, you know what? This is... Oh, that... Wow. Yeah, you need to make a big transition here. I don't think that you need to go save the day because I think that more importantly for you, having a lot of these kings pop up, I think, but two of them, the King of Swords, King of Pentacles reversed here to get to this big love story that you're really looking for, just overall in your old general like love story. I think that, you know what? You can't come from desperation. I think that this is like letting go of like some sort of desperation of like, well, I need money or I need clarity. I think that maybe that you're trying too hard and coming on too hard with that strength card when it's a tame card, the strength card. It's about taming yourself a little bit here and coming across in a better direction and being a little bit definitely more in balance. Mm. <laughs> you know, I was asking, like, just what do you think? I was asking my guides, what do they think about me saying that? They were like, oh, it's breaking their heart because they know it's true. Who's this person that you're thinking about right now? Well, I mean, you're thinking about somebody that's definitely in communication. I almost feel like maybe you're too stuck on the X situation. Yeah, look at that. You're still holding on to somebody from the past or somebody you've been trying to work things out with in the past that you can't let go of. But then there's a new situation that's actually moving. I'm looking, I'm feeling like the energy that's moving. There's no, why even put a choice? Why even put there a, a segregation of like somebody who... You're, you need to let go of this situation from the past. Yeah, chariot reverse is not going anywhere. This is going somewhere, and it's going somewhere fast, and that's where to put your energy towards. That's where to put that knight of swords towards. Yeah, and it's they see your talent. They want to create things. <laughs> Page of Pentacles is the reverse. They don't even want to fucking do anything in the past. They didn't want to, the person that you're trying to hold on to from the past or the, this one place you're trying to hold on to, there's some new situation that's really working out, and it's really... That was an easy read. Well, you got King Arthur here. And I, I, again, King Arthur is about having that power and the authority, but he doesn't force things. You know why? Because when he forces things, his wife cheats on him. So stop trying to force things and start being that regal self and focus on the energy that's actually working instead of trying to force to make things work that aren't working and trying to find every reason or guilt shame people into you know why they are a certain way. This is definitely not going to work. And also pushing too hard and trying to show off too hard or trying to prove so too hard ain't your jam at all right now. There's people who see it naturally right now. 
And that's where you need to open the door. But if you're still holding on to some person that you think that's going to come back or somebody that you don't know where it's going is going to work or somebody that's not been working for a long time, like you got to drop that. Uh, you did get uh, the ninth house here. You got that with Neptune and you got it in. The, these are these beliefs of how you think everything should be and what action to take. But I feel like for you, it's about dissolving. Where's the door not opening? The door's not opening. Okay. Where's the door opening? That's where I take my energy to. So wherever the universe is opening powerful doors, follow that and go with the flow with that. Stop fucking trying to force a closed door op to open. It won't work. Back to you. Yeah, I think that this is a big belief change for you with the solar eclipse in the ninth. So you really have to like really get into that changing of the story, changing of something more expansive, especially for you, Virgo, with Venus in your seventh with Jupiter. I mean, and Neptune, like talk about the most magical like relationship love story that you could possibly ever have. But you also have this Pluto retrograding in your fifth house for the final time that you're ever going to see that. And I think that this is finally where you can kind of break free and like the heart can thaw and it can really come out and express itself for some really special relationships in life. But again, this is going to come back to you changing the stories of how it needs to look so particular in your mind. You got to get out of your left brain and into your right brain. And that's going to help you so much because your ruling planet, just like Gemini is going to, it's going shadow this week and it's about to retrograde. So and in your sixth house, uh, again, or no, sorry, not your sixth, but um, in your um, tenth. But it's like, you, you really want to change perspective and don't overthink it and open up to where, like David said, the universe is trying to expand your life right now and stop constricting your reality and your heart when this is the biggest transformation that could ever show up in your life for really balanced, amazing, beautiful, compassionate, loving relationships. You don't want to blow this one. And you can change the whole slide of that by shifting your belief about what that can be like and opening up to love and see how that goes for you. Because if you keep staying the same way over and over again or too hypercritical on a situation, you're not going to get that magical love story. It's always going to be flawed in some way and it's just going to be frustrating. Yeah, it will be and it won't ever work when you just try and force things and especially Taurus, this is about, you know, opening up for, for Virgos. And I think, uh, not being very selfish in your belief either. 